Tonight we continue our series of reports on America's finest city. Our focus this evening is on crime, which continues to rise. Once we started putting it under the microscope, we found one type of illegal activity to be soaring as we began to emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic. Our Phil Blauer joining us live now from Coronado with a revealing look at the data in his Fox 5 special report. Phil. Well, Kathleen, the numbers show that from 2020 to 2021 in the city of San Diego, the overall crime rate was up 13%. But when we expanded the net, it wasn't pretty when it came to property crime, which is skyrocketing. I just couldn't believe it. I saw the video and I was like, oh my gosh, they made a mess. January 26th, two masked men use a stolen SUV to smash and grab their way through an Escondido family-owned jewelry store. One-of-a-kind handmade items gone, along with hard-earned cash and peace of mind. Since then, metal poles have been installed to prevent another similar break-in, along with several upgraded security devices. Just when you thought that things were starting to turn around, they get hit with this, and, it, and it's just, it's really, it's, it's really tough. We're speaking about skyrocketing property crime, desperate people hitting businesses already hurting financially, like a Kearney Mesa skate shop, which suffered a $15,000 loss in mid-February. Fox 5 looked at the FBI index property crime rate data from 2020 to 2021, compiled by Sandag and the Criminal Justice Clearinghouse. Here are four county communities with major increases. We begin with the city of Coronado, which is not really known for a lot of illegal activity. They saw their property property crime rate rise by 23%. A percentage like that is going to cause a lot of concern. Coronado Police Chief Chuck Kay says the majority of people arrested for property crimes on the island are from out of town and many are addicted to drugs and alcohol. We had um, a series of garage prowls up in the north part of our city. We actually were able to make an arrest in those cases. We saw a couple of burglaries down in the Kays, which is very rare, and we made an arrest in those cases. Here along the North County coast, the city of Encinitas with a population of more than 62,000 saw its property crime rate increase by 37%. On March 2nd, public records show thieves broke into the Crack Shack restaurant on Encinitas Boulevard and took safes and computers for a $5,000 loss. For a comment about the property crime jump, Encinitas officials referred us to the Sheriff's Department, which patrols the city. The department said that when the beach town reopened in 2021, more people returned, which also resulted in crooks coming back, causing the increase. Just down the coastline here in the city of Solana Beach, the Sandag study shows that property crime surged 49%. People need to lock up their things, and that's what we are telling our residents and businesses to do. That's the advice from Solana Beach Mayor Lisa Hebner. But it came too late for one hair salon, which lost a computer and thousands of dollars in merchandise. The owner has since put in stronger security measures. People come here, see a lot of um, you know big houses, and think, well, I think I'm going to you know, break into this house and find some expensive jewelry or some purses or some tools or TVs and things that they can steal. And she has a single word for criminals who would violate those who live and work in and visit her seaside city. Don't. And finally, the numbers reveal that the community formerly known as Bear Valley, Valley Center, saw its property crime rate soar by 51 percent. Frustrated and angry, honestly. Thousands of dollars down the drain in just minutes for Kelly Hernandez, who runs a heating and air conditioning company. And that's the sound of thieves cutting the catalytic converter from her delivery truck, which was parked right in front of her business. Whatever the short amount of money that they make on the catalytic converter, the cost to someone like us or a homeowner or a business is so much more. Burglars also hit a nearby irrigation company and the Valley Center Municipal Water District just across the street. You need to knock it off. <laughs> you know, we all work hard and you need, you need to do the same thing. We love Valley Center and we just want to keep it a great community. Well, the best advice here from the experts, lock your doors, of course, keep your valuables out of sight, have cameras, alarms, and also very solid lighting. Install shields on certain vehicles, especially Priuses, to prevent the catalytic converters from being cut out there. And by the way, none of the suspects that were uh, profiled here in the crimes that we contained in our report have yet to be arrested. Kathleen? All right, really insightful. Thank you so much, our Phil Blower tonight live. Mm -hmm.